Hello and welcome to part 6 of this tutorial series. In this video I will go over some multiplayer specific things in general like spawn points, the, web, uh, the, the flags for capture the flag and assault, um, weapon pickups and some other minor stuff. Okay, so let's get started. I just created a simple long hallway and on the one side there will be Republic, on the other side the Trend Oceans. So uh, we'll just start off by creating simple um, player starts and just rotate them around to face the other direction. And if we open up the properties and uh, where's the player start? And uh, as you can see, the team number is set to zero. It's like the default value, uh, which means that um, in a team-based game like Team Dust Match, Capture Flag, and Assault, um, if all uh, player starts, um, uh, sorry, like if if you if you got like player starts with only this team number zero. And you're playing team death measure or any other um, like group based game mode. Uh, this will cause the enemy team, the Trent Oceans, to not spawn. Um, the, solu or the, the solution to this issue is like you create a player start and change the team number to one, uh, indicating that um, like zero is Republic and one is Trent Oceans, and that way you can have um, like separate uh, player starts for each uh, faction. So we just keep it for zero on this side because it's a uh, republic. So I just um, add more player starts to it. Uh, turn around yeah, like um, in a, in a, in the default. Like if you're in a full fledged map, you would have to uh, create uh, 16 player starts for each faction to like cover a default 32 slot server. If like all if all slots are occupied by players, but for now I just you know just uh, create two player starts for the Republic. They all have the team number to zero for Republic to spawn, and on the other side I create a player start and change the team number to one for the Trend Oceans to spawn. In the death match game mode or the free for all game mode, um, the team number doesn't matter. The Trend Ocean faction or the Trend Oceans um, will use any player start, no no matter the team number. But for the um, like the team based game mode, it's necessary. Okay, so we have Trend Oceans and Republic on that side. And next thing is like some uh, weapon pickups. So if you go to the actor classes, uh, go to pickup, uh, CT pickup, and every um, weapon pickup you see, and with the exception of if you um, got like a subcategory, um, for example the DC-15 pickup got a DC-15 pickup MP, implying it's for um, multiplayer. So we just select one MP variation, right click it and add it and that way um, it's just like it just lays on the ground just like any other multiplayer map and we do that for um, like whatever weapon we want to concussion rifle yeah um, if you want to change for example the respawn time uh, you can open up the properties, um, go to, I guess it's pickup, and uh, the yeah the respawn time. By default, it's set to zero, which means that uh, it will never respawn. Zero means it will never respawn. There is no instant respawn, but you could set it to one second or one. Two playing it, it will respawn after one second. Um, so yeah, would have to change it to, I don't know, 30 seconds. 
And you can also not sure the drop lifetime, I guess, when you die and you drop the weapons, 75 seconds. You could change that. But yeah, that's it. That's like how you can like change the respawn time. Just keep in mind that like the default one is zero, so you have to do it for all um, pickups. So 20 on that side and yeah, just gonna add like shotgun multiplayer and change it to 25. Okay, so that's like uh, if you want like health, that's pickup health is like the default back to back to canister you can pick up. Oddly enough. This one got the default respawn time of 100. Um, just keep in mind, I guess the elite beam weapon doesn't probably, uh, it kind of works in multiplayer, but the amateur effect or the particle effect gets bugged out, I guess. So, like, I guess it would never really attend it for multiplayer. Uh, okay. Okay, next up is something like, for example, in CTF and Assault, the Flex. Um, if we go to Static Meshes, uh, Multiplayer, Flex, um, you will see like the Trendo and the Republic uh, spawn. So this is Trendo's side, so we just add the static mesh here. Obviously the static mesh, the, the, the base, the platform for the flag is not necessary, just like yeah. any other map does it, so we do it as well. And on this side we have Republic. Okay, so for the actual flag it's not that hard. Um, go back to the actor browser. Uh, go to, what was it? Uh, untick everything. The use actor as parent and placeable classes only. So you can, like, you see all those classes hidden by default. Uh, go to actor, uh, game object, CTF flag. And you just Oh wait. Oops. Uh wait, uh it's, no, it's not game object, it's um it's navigation point. Oh uh second Oh yeah, so under navigation point you go to game objective and then you got to got the CTF base. Got confused with the game object in here. No, it's under navigation point and then game objective and then CTF base. So you just add the the, the CTF base and that's the actual flag. So you just move it around in here. And open up the properties and under navigation point no it's under it's under game objective. Under game objective you will see the defender team index property. It's set to D to 255 by default. We have to change this to zero for the republic. And on the other side, you have to change this to 1 for the Trend Oceans. Uh, so at the CTF base here, move it in the center. Open up the Properties Game Objective and change the Defender Team Index to 1. Okay, so you got your flags your weapons, your um, player starts with the teams defined and 
some last things. Um, obviously, for multiplayer, you cannot spawn. I mean, you could spawn everything, but not everything is intended to work properly. Uh, for example, I guess most of you would like to spawn like droids or clone troopers or any other sort of uh, pawns with a controller or an AI, an AI uh, integrated. Uh, that doesn't work out of the box actually because um, the pawns um, are missing the player replication info and some other um, other stuff which should be replicated over the network. I mean, you could um, like place a place some random pawns, but they won't be replicated properly to their remote clients. So it's like not really worth it. Um, there's like a somewhat working um, multiplayer bot mod by Leon. Um, that's like a way better solution than placing those random pawns. Uh, this mod can like be found on the on the GitHub page. Uh, lastly, um, if you go to uh, View and then the Level Properties, uh, you can change the level name and the author in here, like created by me. And it's kind of important, I guess, because uh, the name, uh, the title of the map will also be displayed in the scoreboard or um, like in the server browser, which map gets displayed. So I guess it's my tutorial 3 map. So that way it will, it will be displayed on the scoreboard. And one less important note regarding. Um, like the CTF flags or the flags in general for the CTF and assault game mode. In uh, where was it? Yeah, in level info. If you're using uh, like flags and you want to host the map on a dedicated server, you have to change the pre-cache game to MP game dot AS game. Otherwise, the um, on a dedicated server the Somewhat the caching fails and the clients cannot join because of uh, because of the flags, I guess. Kind of weird, but you have to do it. Uh, yeah, so this kind of rounds up the I guess the multiplayer specific things. Although they are like you, everything else previously applies in here as well. Like you could you know create movers or terrain or skybox or whatever you want to do. So see you in the next part.